everyone, this is Heidi Hancock with Double Magenta Intuitive Energy Healing here in Portland, Oregon. So last month I talked about doing a cleanse and I myself ended up doing a fast, which I had not done before. So I did a three day fast with nothing but vegan broth and juice and water or lemon water. And I posted the uh, vegan broth recipe from Wallflower Kitchen in the blog this month if you want to check that out. It's delicious and nourishing. I really recommend it after being sick too. It's really nice. Um, but anyways, so I did the three-day cleanse and it was super challenging, much more than, um, or the fast, and much more than the cleanse that I had done previously. And um, so by the third day, I was really struggling and I turned to Shamanic Journey to help me because I really needed my guides to give me the what's what here because I was struggling. And the teaching that came through was so powerful, I really wanted to share it with everyone. So I'm not going to guide you through your own Shamanic Journey, but I am going to guide you through the version that came through for me. And I'm hoping that it will translate in the way that you can really experience the energy and experience the teaching for yourself. So um, go ahead and come to a comfortable position. Um, you can sit in formal seated meditation if that's part of your practice with a cushion under your seat, your knees on the ground and your back um, tall. If that's not part of your practice or you just wanna be comfortable, you can sit in a chair, you can lie down, um, whatever. For shamanic journey, it's really more important that you're comfortable than anything else um, so that you can really drop into the essence and feeling the energy. So we'll take a couple deep breaths together in through the nose, all the way down to the belly and exhaling out the mouth. And again, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. Let your energy settle. Allow yourself to arrive in that space. And then in your mind's eye, imagine yourself as a seed. And then as you sit with that for a moment, the seed begins to grow. And the shoots move up through the soil until it breaks through the top of the soil. Stretching out. Feeling the leaves. Stretching open, reaching to the sky, feeling the sun, the air, the rain. It's always stretching out. And then your leaves begin to curl and shift and dot and you come back to the earth and you become ground back into the soil. And then it begins to rain. And that rain soaks the soil. And you become one with the water. And you 
begin to evaporate. Moving up through the air. Climbing through the sky all the way up to the clouds. You become part of the clouds. And then it rains. You fall back down with the rain touching the leaves, the branches, the tree, rolling down the trunk and down into the soil again. And now you become a plant. And you begin to grow. You become food. And you're cut and harvested. And you become part of a meal. And you're slowly eaten by the human and you move down into the belly and then you become nourishment nutrients for a baby and then as that baby grows you become the baby and you're birthed out into the world You begin taking in this experience, this energy, and it's so different. And now you have a mind. You see all these things happening. becomes more difficult to shift and change and evolve through those different energetic patterns that you were before. Those forms that you moved so easily in and out of. And when something happens that you don't like, we think we can control it because we have this mind. We think we have to hold on to this energy that is us in the form that it currently is. Instead of taking the lessons from all those previous experiences and letting things die when they're meant to die whether that be parts of us or even our physical body when that's time. And so we do this push against the experiences that come through us, thinking we need to maintain things as they are for fear of death, for fear of losing what we think is ours, but we're just energy moving through another form and this time we're human. us make decisions, can help us cope and deal with things as they happen, but it shouldn't be making all the decisions.
So let yourself come back to the awareness of your body. The seat or cushions beneath you and behind you. And wiggle your fingers and toes. And slowly open your eyes. So I thank you for joining me this month. I hope that that was able to give you an experience of this moving flow and change of energy that we are always being called to in all these different forms. If you watch nature, it just does what it's supposed to do knows exactly where to go and when to do it. And it moves, collects, or lets go of things freely. And we need to remember to do that as humans also. We aren't really the ones in charge. just responding to the calls that we receive, the direction that we're supposed to go next. And in remembering that, hopefully we can have a more peaceful experience with it. So thank you again for joining me. See you next month. Namaste.